Let's take a look at using subframe entrances in the, the WinBid Pro version 15 software. And let's assume, uh, as in this catalog here, the US Aluminum 2009 catalog, it doesn't have any pre-configured subframes that I can see in the in the uh, door frames list. So what we're going to do is add our own subframe. And there's actually a subframe column at the end of this list and if we widen it a little bit we might be able to see more information on the screen at one time but um, yeah now it shows up um, but we don't see a yes in here anywhere so let's go ahead and assume that we need to add one so we're gonna click add new and this is where you would name the system so I'm gonna call it a um, a subframe pair center hung and I'll just call it one inch and what we can do is uh, we can still call it a frame package its center pivot and the closure type can be anything let's just say surface mount uh, the frame style let's do transom well this would be like an other but yeah it doesn't really matter at this point we'll call it a transom and then it is a pair and it's a swing out. Now the, the most important thing here is checking this box. So we check that because it is a subframe. And our door height, remember when we're putting in a, a door frame, we're basing it on the door height. So it would still be 84 inches if it's a standard 84 inch door. And it would still be 72 inches wide. Now the difference here between a regular frame and a subframe is we're just putting the subframe profile. So a lot of cases it's a half inch to an inch so to make it easier to see on the screen I'm gonna go ahead and put an inch here so one inch for both the door head and the jams and obviously you can make it whatever it needs to be in your case and we don't worry about the transom stuff because essentially when you're adding a subframe entrance to an elevation it's leaving the verticals and the standard horizontal material to frame the opening and then the subframe parts are actually added to the inside of that framed uh, mullion opening. So we don't worry about a typical transom frame because really it's just sticking a frame inside of an opening uh, that was made in the elevation. So a little different than a standard door frame with door jams and a door head. Um, so if it is the frame package, which a lot of the subframes are, we want to go ahead and select the part numbers for that, So or the part number and I'm gonna go ahead and right click down here in this area to to find a part number and if my memory serves me a US aluminum subframe part is like an FD something so I'm using this filter bar at the top and it's a FD7 and since I'm using a center hung I'm looking at the description here of this part and again we're looking at the parts list right now so I'm adding a part to my door frame uh, that I'm creating and I'm going to go ahead and pick this FD717 and this is some more information like in this in this parts list we actually have the catalog page and then we have a code that says it's a frame so I know this is the right part these are the prices uh, for the different colors and our part type we've assigned is door frame so that all looks right I'm going to go ahead and insert that part and then I'm just going to scroll up to make sure it did and it looks like it's good so in this case there's no open back fillers, there's no um, other parts that are needed here unless you're trying to do a subframe from stock length then you would actually put those stock length part numbers here under right door jam, left door jam and door head because it, it's going to have to cut those from something but if it's a package we just put the package part number and we're good. So there's our package I've created my new subframe and it's the last one in the list here now we're ready to go ahead and add that to our elevation. So I go ahead and click doors. I click add entrance. I'm going to go ahead and stick it in panel three. I'm going to say add door frame. And there's my subframe at the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and select that. And then I'm going to add a door leaf. And all I'm looking for is a center hung pair. I can make this list a little wider as well. And so it's already filtering my pairs, it's already filtering center hung. Let's go with a medium style and that one right there looks good. And remember you can go in and change any of these uh, 
after you insert it into your elevation. But here's the trick. We have an 84 inch door that we've added. So the door itself is still 84 inches, but the, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in. You'll notice this dimension here is 85. And that dimension is to the top of the subframe. So really the bottom of this horizontal that makes up the, uh, the top of the door head. Um, so we've got an 84 inch door with a one inch frame around it. So our framed opening, the mullion framed opening is actually 74 because it's a 72 inch door plus one inch on each side for the subframe. So the verticals are actually 74 inches apart in daylight. And then our horizontal piece at the top, that's what's 85 inches up from the ground. So really that's all there is to a subframe. Um, if you need to add any more hardware, you can go ahead and do that in the door frame parts. And uh, it's, it's important to keep in mind that your door frame or your door leaf stays the same size and the frame is added around it and then the opening that that fits into is the outside dimension of that uh, subframe. So and the, the program automatically sizes that part. So that's all you really need to keep in mind. And again, you can refer to this by seeing that it dimensions 85 to the bottom of this horizontal up here and 74 daylight between the verticals because of the subframes on each side. So that's pretty much it for subframes.